Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Rick Shadyak, how are you? I am doing well. How are you? I'm very blessed. Thank you so much for joining us. And I was heard that you brought Jenny with you also. Jenny's sitting right next to me. <laughs> Hello, Jenny. Hi. I want to thank you guys for joining us. You guys are going to be telling me about St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Would you start for me, Rick? Sure. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital leads the way the world understands, treats, and defeats childhood cancer. You know, it's that special place where doctors across the United States, and including Dallas, send some of their most challenging childhood cancer cases because we have the highest survival rates for some of the most difficult cancers. Uh, and, and you know, at St. Jude, no family will ever receive a bill from St. Jude, not for the cost of treatment, travel, housing, or food, because all we want our moms and dads to worry about is helping their child live. And, you know, we're going to all be getting together on September 17 and September 24 in communities across the United States for the St. Jude Walk Run to End Childhood Cancer. And in Dallas on September 17th, people are going to be gathering and we're going to try to raise a half a million dollars in Dallas uh, so that St. Jude can, can continue to provide care for kids like Dionisio, Jenny's son, and also to continue to conduct that cutting edge research that no one else is going to be doing. Well, Texas is the place to do that because we have a big state and we have big hearts, Rick. So great. I'm so glad that you're doing that. Let me ask you, I heard that 16,000 children a year will uh, have this journey with cancer. Is that true? It is true. Over 16,000 moms and dads are going to be told that their child has cancer. And if you expand that out across the world, over 180,000 moms and dads are going to be told that their child has cancer. And many more across the world will go undiagnosed. So this still remains a big problem. I mean, cancer is the leading cause of death by disease in U.S. kids today. It's one of the leading causes of death around the world as well. So while we've made great progress, taking the overall survival rates from 20 percent to over 80 percent we still have a lot of work to do and that's why we need to all join together on September 17 and raise that money so that we can continue to beat pediatric cancer. I so agree. If I could bring Jenny in on the conversation here, Jenny, because I know that you know this from a personal aspect with your son. Yes. Share, uh, can you share a little bit of his story and why St. Jesus Jude is so important to you? Yeah, well, my son was diagnosed um, at 18 months in 2012 with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And if it weren't for St. Jude and all the research that they do, I, honestly, I'm not sure if I'd have my son today. But because of them and donors that make St. Jude possible, we, I can say that I still have my son and he's doing good and he's healthy now and he started school and his first day of kindergarten was two weeks ago, and so he's doing really, really well, thanks to St. Jude. Thank you for sharing your personal story, and I wish you and pray God's best for you. Rick, is her story different than a lot of people, or is it similar to a lot of what you guys deal with at St. Jude? Well, you know, every person's journey is, is, is a unique journey. Uh, and, you know, I'm really happy to say that more kids are surviving pediatric cancer than, than, than aren't. Uh, so, I mean, her, her journey is a, is a wonderful celebration. And, and you know, it, it was just so moving for me before we got on the air with you for me to be able to hear from Jenny, for her to tell me what it was like for her to watch Dionisio walk through the doors of, their, of his school for the very first time, his first day of kindergarten. And thankfully, more and more 
more moms and dads are having that experience, being able to see their child go to school. And that's what this is all about, allowing moms like Jenny that beautiful moment that all of us who are blessed with kids and have healthy kids have already experienced. And, you know, but we have to keep in mind that there are still moms and dads who are sadly not going to experience that day because cancer remains a leading cause of death by disease in U.S. kids today. In fact, one in five of those moms and dads who will be told that they have cancer may not enjoy that day. So that's why September 17th is so important for folks to band together, to walk and to run to end childhood cancer right in Dallas. Rick and Jenny, I want to thank you so very much. Thank you for coming to Texas, first of all. Thank you for the work of St. Jude, and thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB Show today. Thank you. Thank you.